Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we know that during the time of Lent, many, many of you have great devotion to the Stations of the Cross. I'm happy to let you know that in front of the main entrance of the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd, Victoria Street, we have 15 Stations of the Cross in the Garden of Resurrection. There are also 15 Stations of the Cross inside the main Cathedral Church. However, in this presentation, I'd like to walk you through the 15 Stations of the Cross. Come to this Cathedral when you can during the Lenten season. Have your personal devotion or bring your family and friends to make the Stations of the Cross, to be nourished by your faith and to be strengthened by the reality of God's compassionate love that He has shown us through this beautiful Stations of the Cross devotion that we have in our Catholic Church. I welcome you one and all, and I look forward to seeing all of you here. The Stations of the Cross In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen Jesus is saying to us These 14 steps that you are now about to take You do not walk alone I walk with you Though you are you, and I am I Yet we are truly one, one in Christ and therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way are now also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will be complete only when you have crowned them with your life. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my Father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And to Pilate's rule, I submit myself, because this is my Father's will. Can you refuse obedience to those whom I have placed over you? Let us pray. Jesus, my Lord, Obedience cost you your life. For me, 
it is us and that of the will, no more. And yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blinkers from my eyes, that I may see that it is you whom I obey, in all who govern me. Lord, it is you. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet my Father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. Let us pray. Jesus, my Lord, I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day, the discomforts of all kinds, the heat, the cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, the God who made the universe and holds it in existence is too weak as man to bear a piece of timber's weight. This is the human reality which I experience. If you would be my other self, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind and soul. Because they are your will for me, these handicaps of my humanity, I gladly accept them. Make me content with all discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. Jesus, we behold your first fall. Teach us that for us it we fall. We should never give up all. 
the fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or enters her thought. She shares my martyrdom and I share hers. We hide not pain nor sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. Let us pray. Jesus, my Lord, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those you love is harder than to bear your own. To carry the cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, sicknesses, and grief of those I love, and I must let them watch mine too. I do believe that all things work for good for those who love you. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, My strength is gone. I can no longer lift the cross alone. And so the legionaries make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift, as with your very own hands, the cross awful weight that crushes me. Let us pray. Lord, make me realize that every time I wipe the dish, pick up an object from the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or at a store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend a hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and the kindness I said to them, I really show to you. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my blood-stained face at home, Whenever eyes fill with tears, at work, when tension arises, on the playground, in the slums, courts, 
hospitals, jails, wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Let us pray. Lord, what to us is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice. And I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act in me and love in me. And not in me alone, in all men so that we may review your glorious face on earth. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, this seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, Learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail and you will think, I can't go on. Turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Let us pray. Give me your courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate. Stretch your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease to persevere in doing good, but Lord, alone I can do nothing. With you, I can do anything you ask. I will. Jesus, as we see you falling, we can hear your spirit calling, urging us to persevere. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, How often have I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart moans for them moans for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind. Let us pray. My Jesus, Teach me, Lord. I want to learn. I often snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand me, those who hinder me with some misguided confidence, those who intrude upon my privacy. Now, help me to curb my tongue, 
Let my gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, completely drained in strength I lie, collapsed upon the cobblestones, my body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse me up. And yet my will is mine. And so is yours. Know this, my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. Let us pray. My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. When all my strength is gone, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can always begin anew. Ten station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped, the cross my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all, my Father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. Let us pray. My Lord, I offer you all, whatever I possess, and more than my very self. Detach me from the craving of prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all traces of envy of my neighbor who has more than I have. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I may be rich in you.
the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hands and wrists against the wood and strike the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then with one heavy hammer, smash, they drive it through, and pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes. Then raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast too. Let us pray. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? Here and now, I accept for all my life, whatever sickness, torment, agony may come. To every cross I touch my lips. O oh, blessed Lord, let me be with you a co-redeemer of my fellow men. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, The cross becomes a pulpit now. Father, forgive them. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother, there is your son. I thirst, it is completed. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet, and every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I have borne enough and have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. Let us pray. My Jesus, my God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and the kind of death in store for me. I pray for all who are dying now, that they may turn to you with trust and confidence. Forgive all their sins and help them find hope in you. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is completed, but not my mother's and not yours. 
my other self. My mother must still cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love and grief will come to you. In your bereavement, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary's sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. Let us pray. I beg you, Lord, to help me in accepting the parties that must come, friends going away, children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones all to your eternal home. Help me believe that all men belong to you, and to care for and love them more than I do. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is saying to us, so ends my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter, and for John and for you. My work as man is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in and day out, from this time forth, be my apostle, victim, saint. Let us pray. Jesus, my Lord, you know my spirit is as willing as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do. In your short light on earth, let me impart and bear, and do through you. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. Christ is risen. Jesus is saying to us, I told you at the start, my other self, that my life is not complete until I crown it with my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it with your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. A simple yes, this is all it takes. A breathing in your heart, I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand, your classroom, the playing field, the science lab, the office, your workbench, and hours spent at society's meetings. These are altars where you offer love. And I am with you always. There, go now, 
Take up your cross and with your life, complete your way. Let us pray, one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be for our Pope's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May he defend you from all evils and bring you to life eternal. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the station that I've chosen to reflect on this evening is Veronica wiping the face of Jesus. Jesus' way to Calvary was accompanied by great crowds, people of all kinds. Many were jeering at him. Some were crying. Others were confused. And still others were guilty because they had joined the crowd to chant, crucify him, crucify him, when Jesus was being condemned in the face and presence of Pilate. In the midst of such chaos of the crowd, there was Veronica. Veronica moved with compassion, steps forward, and wiped the face of Jesus with a towel. As we reflect on the courage of Veronica, we are inspired by how she dares to stand out of the crowd and do stand up for Jesus, who is the Savior and Messiah, treated so cruelly by the crowd, condemned by the crowd for being the truth and Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. The courage of Veronica is a faith that was willing to pay the price of the ridicule, the rejection, and even the pain of the trials of mockery by the crowd. Those who stand up for the faith in Jesus in different ways and at different times also experience such pains and trials. And sometimes these can come from our loved ones. The others in the crowd chose the path of mediocrity, a path where there is less pressure, a path of least anxiety, a path that follows the crowd, simply a face with the masses in the crowd, a sense of the lack of faith that reveals the tepidity, that reveals the cowardice and even the betrayal of Jesus who had loved us so totally and unconditionally. So let us pray for the grace to be more authentic in the living of our faith. When situations demand that we stand up for Christ, the Savior and the Lord, let us draw inspiration from Veronica and dare to be different and dare to affirm that Jesus is truly the Lord and Savior of our lives. Let us not justify and rationalize away our faith through the cowardness of our hearts in our soft, protective love. Let us ask God for that courage and strength to be what God truly wants us to be. Like Veronica, a faith that dares to witness to the truth with courage, regardless of the challenges we face. Thank you and God bless you.